when the sun shines at night. Oh, sorry, I meant the moon. Let me do this again. When the moon shines at night. Wait a minute, what if it's cloudy? Okay, you know what? Let's just do it in a different way. When the night comes by and fills us with darkness, it's time for the ghosts and the ghouls to hunt you down. Or you can always play basketball. And there happens to be one of the most scariest games that came out this year, Phasmophobia. This is a 4 player co-op game but you can also play it alone, if you don't piss your pants more often like me, where you have to investigate a house or a building to find what type of ghost lives there. It's like a group of paranormal investigators going to some house, finding out evidences of ghosts by using different equipments, including Ouija board. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can actually play Ouija board with the ghost. How amazing is that? It's one of those games that might start normally, but by the end of it, things will go south and you will hear screams. Also, there could be some shitheads who will lock you inside a room because they want you to be alone and get killed by this ghost. You know who you are. When you go inside a house, you use a variety of tools such as EMF reader which increases the reading when the ghost is around, spirit box which you can use to talk to the ghost and they respond back. You can also use a thermometer to see whether the temperatures are freezing. You can also set up cameras in a specific portion where you think the ghost is and come back to the truck to see if you find ghost orbs and later in the game, you also can see the ghost walking by. One of the things that I have seen work, if you use a spirit box and if you say, my pants are down, they will definitely come and haunt you. I don't know why that works, but it works. <laughs> there are different types of equipments that you can use in any map. And if you don't have it, you can also buy it from the in-game money. Most of the time, it is easy to find out where the ghost is, but when the time comes to find out what type of ghost it is, things get a little bit difficult. Because now you have to find out evidence that can mark out the type of ghost. These evidence could be ghost orbs, fingerprints, freezing temperatures, somebody saying something in spirit box, ghost writing something in the book. And using these evidences, you can mark out what type of ghost that is. Now you must have seen in horror movies, if you mess with a ghost, the ghost messes you back. And that is exactly what happens in Phasmophobia as well. If you call out the ghost name too much, the ghost will go for a hunt. You can hear their breath. You can sometimes hear your heartbeat when the ghost is on the move. And if by any chance, you are the last one heading out of the house to the truck, the ghost might kill you first. And if you are the one who is not scared of the ghost at all, all you have to do is go into the room where the ghost is and just call out his name infinite amount of times and they will haunt you. You can even hear the grudge girl's voice. I should capture a ghost or a photo of the ghost, my lord. It's not only the ghost that you could be scared of, it's also the map. Because there are some maps which are huge, like school and asylum, which can only be covered by more than two people. Otherwise, you're fucked. The other ones can be completed alone or with two people. There are also various types of ghosts which is randomized in every map. As you load in, the board tells you the objectives you gotta cover and what the name of the ghost is. And does the ghost respond to you when you are with everyone or alone? And if that ghost responds to you when you're alone, well, things can become spooky. Of course, being alone in one room with lights off is nerve wracking. And not only that, you're supposed to speak to the ghost so that you can make sure that you got some evidence of the ghost being here. And it might be very possible that you die in that room. The most important thing to keep in mind is your sanity. When you start the game, you won't get scared of anything. But as the game progresses, your sanity starts to decrease. And the lower the sanity, the more scared you are. And the more scared you are, the more prone you are to ghost attacks. If you're killed by a ghost, which a ghost does by putting his hands around your eyes, it's more like, hey, guess who it is? You find yourself in this bluish world of the same location. And you are also one of the ghosts. The only thing is that your friends can't see you, but you can see the ghost, but he cannot do anything. At the end of all of this, you find evidence, you mention them in a journal, and you figure out the ghost type and leave the fuck out of this so that you can earn some good money. And money is always good. You can always ask EA for that. Overall, being a game which is a multiplayer where you don't even need Discord to talk with each other, you can use in-game voice radio which adds more realism into it. Five lights, five EMF in the garage with an environment that's spooky and chilling while the ghosts are doing some sort of activities and maybe talking to you it certainly becomes very scary and whether you're playing alone or with a bunch of friends it still is scary and probably one of the best horror games of this very year 
Many a times I feel like somebody said something in my room because how amazing the sound design of this game is and that would terrify me a lot because I usually play after midnight and the last time I played the game it was at 3 a.m. and usually people believe that the ghosts start hunting in real life at 3 a.m. How do you like Phasmophobia? Let me know in the comments below. Did it scare you well enough? Let me know all of that in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, leave a dislike if you didn't and subscribe for more awesome videos just like this every single week. That's it for me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and have a good one.